Oh, you're kidding me, Roger. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? Alright, that's it. Where is Roger? He's he's getting sold right now. Hey, guys, how are you all keeping? Artemis here, and welcome back to episode 29 here on the Romani farm. Guys, we are so close to getting the community center done. The only thing that we have to worry about is that rabbit's foot. So, I'm going to take drastic steps this episode to make sure we get that foot ASAP. Just to let you know, I will put the rest of fall into this episode as it's currently getting repetitive as is the nature of the community center challenge and finding that item. Before we get into it though, cheers for joining me today guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode and if you do, remember to drop a like and leave a comment down below guys as that really helps me out. So, the weather is going to be cloudy and with a gust of wind tomorrow. Our fortune for today is going to be uh, somewhat annoyed, which is not on, which is not ideal for this situation, but we gotta make do what we gotta do, people. Alright, so for today, as I've mentioned before, community center, rabbit's foot. So we're gonna be going to, we're gonna be going to Skull Cavern, and we're just going to farm out those serpents, and we're gonna try and get that rabbit's foot if Roger doesn't drop it for us now. And that's the only thing on the agenda today. Tomorrow, because it's Tuesday, I'm probably gonna buy another coop. And actually get a whole bunch of extra rabbits because I want that rabbit's foot ASAP. That is wine, which is for the same bundle, and that's another one then done and dust for the community center. And Benjamin agrees, he needs to defoot Roger. We need to get this uh, we need to get this foot, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if he's dropped it for us today. Nope, Roger has let us down. He has not dropped his foot, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, let's have a look here. Yeah, he's like, you know, at two, you know, he's half of the uh, friendship points and everything. Oh, Roger, I will sell you, mate. He's <laughs> getting ruthless in that regard. Okay, awesome. And let's go ahead and get to the other girls as well. Alright, cool. All the other animals are looking pretty dandy here as well. Okay, cool. All the animals are free to go and play as they wish. And I think there's a couple of extra wood here as well, because if I'm going to go buy an extra coop tomorrow... Gotta make sure that we have enough wood for that. I'm pretty sure we'll have enough stone. The wood might be a thing, but honestly, that probably won't be a problem. Well, I think this is going to be the second last harvest of these cranberries, so uh, we can expect a healthy income today. Alright, cool, excellent. So that is everything in that regard. We do have another pine tree down here. You know what, I could probably make use of this space down here, but I haven't really put much thought into this area here. Maybe I should do a bit of a play around with the map thing and see what can be done in this area. I think I was planning to put silos here, uh, if I think way back when. Speaking of which, we really need to harvest all this grass as well, so I'm going to go ahead and check how much we have in the silo and go from there. Uh, 516, so, or 515, so, alright, I'm going to go on a bit of a harvesting spree here, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, that is enough harvesting for one day. I think I was able to get maybe about a hundred or something. So, what we will do is sell all these and that is going to bring us in a healthy income. Alright, cool. I think we're going to head over to Skull Cavern now. And hopefully, hopefully we can make something happen with all that other things there, with the uh, serpents. Alright guys, if there's anything special here, I will leave it in. But for the most part, I will cut this down quite a bit. Alright, that guy was able to drop us two spicy meals, which is fantastic. And there's a diamond there as well, might as well go for that. I think, uh, forewarned, I do have my headset a little bit away from my face, but I have a sneaking suspicion that as soon as I get that rabbit's foot, oh, I'm going to be jumping for joy. I hope it's this episode, I really do. Uh, cross your fingers for me, ladies and gentlemen. I really want this rabbit's foot uh, this episode. That would be fantastic. Alright, here's another one of these serpents. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah, I think I'm going to be so happy as soon as one of these guys drops that rabbit's foot. Come on, you. Come on. At least they dropped me a fair amount of bombs as well. So, yeah, I guess that's it saves me having to spend money on bombs. Because these guys drop bombs almost every single time you kill them. Which is really good. There's another fella here. Come on, baby. 
and just spicy eel meals galore as well, which is fantastic. And nothing there, but we're just going to go straight down. But six iridium ore so far, and a tempered broadsword. Oh, that's actually a pretty damn good sword. I mean, I think it's almost the same as the lava katana, isn't it? You know, usually people hate seeing these guys, but for me, I'm like, yes, bring me the serpent. It gives me, you know, a 0.8% chance, or what is that, like a 1.6% chance of dropping the rabbit's foot if my uh, math is correct there. I think it is. Now, the ghost, I don't want to play with. <laughs> no one likes the ghosts. Now, really, ghosts are actually horrid. They are so slow, and they always take their damn time to get to you. It's like, no thanks, mate. Oh, my goodness. That is a lot of slimes. Oh, can I get two of these guys in one go? That is a lot of damage, ladies and gentlemen. That is also an iridium bar, which is well and truly worth it. Hee hee hee. Nice. Alright, that's enough of these slimes, I reckon. Because I think I've almost got enough iridium now to make all the sprinklers that I need. To be honest, because that's one there. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's getting close. I right, pop all these in here, and yeah, so that is almost a uh, three iridium bars that we got from this uh, session alone. It's doing pretty well. Are you the one? Are you going to be the one? Please be the one. Please be the one. Oh. <laughs> The thing is, we still have until winter to technically um, get this item because uh, some of those foraging items are only available in winter. But um, I have no idea what the um, record is for commu uh, completing the community center. That would be interesting. Alright, so we'll head on home. Uh, that was actually well and truly worth it. Look at that. We almost got three iridium bars, uh, three diamonds. And those are probably the most notable things there. So that's quite a bit of money. What, 2,250 there? Not bad. Here is another emerald as well. So uh, we're going to keep that and we're going to go and visit. I keep jumping on my horse. It's actually really frustrating. Uh, toss all that away. I will, I will pick up that thing again in a second, ladies and gentlemen. Just bear with me. Uh, I just put that there. I don't really mind. I left my bombs on me, but that's okay. So we're going to have an emerald on us. And I think we need a leak because it is uh, George's birthday tomorrow and we're just going to give him a leak for his birthday. Alright guys, awesome. Uh, we're going to leave it at that. And yeah, awesome. We're going to quickly say hello to Benjamin, which I think we already have. And yeah. Alright, so for today we were able to make 26,000 gold, which is fantastic. So, alright, we'll get into the next day uh, straight away, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so the weather for today is going to be clear and sunny all day. The fortune teller is good luck. Excellent. And Queen of Swords is Tortillas. Uh, we already know how to make Tortillas. Alright, so because Roger wasn't able to give us that thing yesterday, his foot, I'm definitely going to go ahead and buy an extra coop today, ladies and gentlemen. So all we need is a bit of wood and stone for that one. It is also George's birthday today, and we're also going to go ahead and give Penny another uh, gift as well, because we're trying to swoon her, of course. So what we need on us is this and that. So... We got the items we need on us, and we'll go ahead and see if Roger has done his due diligence, his duty to us. And, hmm, not that I can see as of yet. Roger, you've got one job, mate. <laughs> you've got one job, and it requires you just to give me your foot. It's, it's not a huge ask. I, I don't think I'm being unreasonable. Am I, ladies and gentlemen? Am I being unreasonable to request Roger to give me his foot I feed him every day <laughs> oh come on we need that foot Roger come on okay cool all the animals are sorted as well for the day so they can go out and play and let's go ahead and see this anything down here that needs to be sorted and uh, not that I can see no ancient fruit or anything like that I'll uh, just have a quick squiz in here uh, this is looking pretty baller so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and collect all of these ones. Um, yeah, that one is nearly done, so it seems ooh, I'm looking forward to being able to collect that one. Okay, so we've just done all of that. Uh, did that increase our foraging skill? Nope, the foraging skill is still level 9. 
which is ah, it's unfortunate, but we'll go ahead and plant the other 24 uh, full seeds because we had spares of that and I don't want to use the other ones. So see if we can just use all these up. And I think that's going to be enough. Yeah, that's going to be more than enough. I mean, I could make more, but I am lazy currently and there is other things that need to be done today. And I think just for now, we'll do a little bit of more harvesting here. Just because everyone was mentioning in the comments in the last episode, don't forget to harvest all your grass. And it's a fair point, you know, Marnie is incredibly expensive in terms of hay. And she, well, here's the thing, she takes full advantage knowing that she's the only one that sells it and she can charge whatever she wants for it. I mean, literally, I'm the only person who's actually going to buy it from her. So she has one customer, me. <laughs> Nobody else has animals or, you know, animals that need hay in Stardew Valley that I am aware of. Slowly hacking down all these trees as they're growing as well. And our hay is at 692. So, yeah, we'll have enough hay, I reckon, for winter as well. Because I'm going to, you know, harvest all of it when the time comes. All right, so let's go ahead and distribute all these things because we don't want to be encumbered with all that thing with all that stuff sell all these ones as well and we got the two items that we need so let's go ahead and see George and um, Penny and here is old Georgi he's being uh, I don't know, spoken to by Evelyn oh it's my birthday today I guess, guess it is thank you very much it is mate Alex is my grandson have I told you that already ha huh, speak up that's true, I don't say much. <laughs> Alright, so he is... Oh, where is Georgie? He's on five now, so he's looking good. Alright, let's see if we can find Penny, and then we'll head up to Robin. Uh, she's not there, she's probably at the library, I reckon. Alright, so she's loving that. I've lived in Pelican Town my whole life. Can you believe that? I can believe that. Uh, she is at well, uh, six hearts, so she's looking fine and dandy. Don't block me, Elliot. Thank you. Oh my god, that was close. I would have knocked him out if he got in my way. <laughs> Here we are, exactly for this. Uh, can we go ahead and construct another coop, please? And we will build this one uh, probably um, here. Uh, maybe a little bit out of the way. Probably right there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I'll start working on your new coop tomorrow. Thank you, Khan. And what we'll do is we'll go down to the bus stop this way. Hello Pamela, please take us to our destination. Alright guys, I will be going for another run looking for this uh, thingy foot, so I'll let you guys know if anything uh, interesting happens. But of course I forgot to eat a spicy eel meal, because we need this for the luck. We need all the luck, everyone cross your fingers, we really want to get that rabbit's foot. Alright, here is our first serpent of the day. Come on, be the one, come on. Nope, he drops another bomb. Which isn't too bad. I think he does quite a bit of damage as well. Hey, there we go. There's the ectoplasm. So, um, if I was to check this right now, the actual, uh, what do you call it? The, it's actually on the notice board. So tomorrow, what we will do is actually go ahead. Wait, do I even have that quest? Yes, I do. Uh, deliver the ectoplasm to the wizard. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Whew. For a second there I thought that I didn't pick up the quest, but no, I did pick up the quest. Oh yes, come on, there's two of them. Come on, big boys. Come on. <gasps> yes! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> oh, well, we got it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, we got the rabbit's foot. We got the rabbit's foot, yes! Oh my god. <laughs> I think I might have woken up my partner. Oh my god. Okay. Let me just sit here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is the that is the last thing for the community center that we were really worried about. Um oh, that is amazing. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay. Let's finish off this night here with the community uh, with the uh, thingy or what do you call it? the uh, what do you call, uh, what is this place? The Skull Cabin. I can't think, ladies and gentlemen. The excitement has really gotten to me. Oh my god. Uh, yes, please, attack him. 
Okay, let's go ahead and quickly eat this. I know for a okay, let's do this. Let's quickly jump down. Let's go ahead and eat another one. No, eat it, man. Oof, I'm all jumpy at the moment. All right, all right. Come on, serpent. I want to get this other serpent here because I'm going to quickly dart up. I'm going to store this rabbit foot, and then uh, we're just going to complete this night here for a skull cavern. I keep doing this. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the rabbit's foot in our grasp. Fantastic. So the only things that are that we're going to um, wait on now is the winter foraging bundle. So yeah, I'm still going to put all the rest of fall in this episode because it's a bit grindy at the moment. It's just, we're just literally waiting for those last couple of items. Oh goodness gracious. You know, I was telling my partner all about this, saying, yeah, this this is the thing that we need to get in this episode. And she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I said to her, I will be so excited when I find this item. So, chances are she probably heard me, probably smiled and said, yep, he got the item. Oh my god, that felt so good. Oh, that felt so good, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm really looking forward to winter. Because I think in the first day or two, I can find those items and done and dusted. I'm so keen to get it done. I'm so keen to get the community center done, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, hit that like button and leave a comment down below for the rabbit's foot. We finally got the rabbit's foot and it's not even from Roger. But I swear to God, if Roger goes ahead and drops me his foot tomorrow, I think I might just sell him then and there. Because it's like, okay, cool, cheers, mate. You've, you've dropped me the foot. You can now be gone. We'll see how it goes. Maybe he won't. If he does, then okay. <laughs> that might be a thing. Okay, you know what? We're actually going to do this right now. I'm going to learn from my mistake. I'm going to put these things away, even the bombs as well. Sort this out. And we're going to go ahead and see the wizard uh, now. Because... Um, yeah, I would like to get that quest done and dusted as well for him. But the other reason for it is, as soon as I get the community center done, ladies and gentlemen, I, I've actually be, I've been working on a special uh, for the occasion. There is a special that I will release then after I've completed the community center, um, and I'm really looking forward to that. I t it takes years to study and understand the language of the elementals. Um, do I just give this to you, mate? Ah, it's brimming with energy of forgotten souls. Perfect. Now be gone. I shall require perfect silence to discern the true nature of the substance. Okay. To actually speak the language requires a lifetime of devoted effort. What these spirits, mate? And what did you give me? You gave me 2,500 gold. Cheers, lad. Alright, so what we'll do is I'm going to grab all the iridium, iridium ore that I have now. And I'm going to go and just get a whole uh, smelt of that ready and going. So then tomorrow I can go ahead and pick up a whole bunch of the things, go to the community center, and then go and uh, put a couple of extra things in the uh, greenhouse. Because I think we're going to spend a little bit of time just working around the farm tomorrow, I reckon. Alright, cool, excellent. So we got two here already, and we do have another one there, good to go. And let's go for it. Awesome. The day I buy an extra coop as well. God damn it, Roger. But it wasn't even Roger, it was the serpent. So I cannot be mad at all. <laughs> and awesome. We'll go ahead and put this rabbit's foot rightly where it belongs. So yeah, there's definitely going to be a community center run tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and call it a day, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. I am so happy with that. So for today, we also made uh, 7,600 uh, gold there. Guys, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. It seems like we are now certain to get the community center done in early winter and I am I am so happy with that and let me know in the comments below what you think of that as well all right so the weather for tomorrow is it's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow and the fortune for today is very good luck excellent and living off the land is going to be winter is coming soon and that means your farming operations will come to a halt I disagree with you mate there is actually various ways to make quite a decent amount of money in winter and we'll find out about that you know in due time ladies and gentlemen so for today 
it is the day I'm gonna go to the community center and I'm gonna get the majority of that all done and dusted and it's gonna be a bit of a relaxing one I want to go get the other iridium ore and I want to set up my greenhouse a little bit better as well so see if we can expand that a little bit uh, George has now sent us the fried eel and thanks to this guy he we can now make the mini obelisk that's actually something fantastic where is the mini obelisk it is this one we can definitely make some of those ones and that's just gonna make traveling between my my farm an absolute blast all right let's go ahead and enjoy the day ladies and gentlemen we've earned it we've definitely earned it see Benjamin is absolutely happy I feel like Isaac Newton with an apple dropping on my head oh you're kidding me Roger can you believe that ladies and gentlemen all right that's it where is Roger he's he's getting sold right now <laughs> uh, am I that cruel nah I think we'll keep him we'll keep him we'll keep you Roger I don't even know where he is oh there he is bloody hell Roger <sighs> leave, leave a comment down below people that is just uh, Murphy's law or Murphy's luck I don't, I don't know the exact phrase there but the one thing I've been desperately searching for so long and then I finally find it and then Roger's like oh yeah you you wanted this didn't you mate here you go it's like oh you filthy mangy creature oh well <laughs> such is the nature of Stardew Valley ladies and gentlemen bloody hell <laughs> oh, I'm so, oh that's so good and that is all of them for the day so let's go ahead and skid daddly do on out of here ladies and gentlemen and we have our sweet gem berry here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, give that to the guy in the forest as well so there is a lot to do today and uh, we, we do have our first strawberry so we're gonna go ahead and collect these ones and um, yeah I think we'll store these here for the time being and we're gonna come back and sort out the greenhouse uh, momentarily oh it's oh I thought that was ready to go that would have been so good just gonna chop up all these hardwood as well because um, anything to get our foraging skill up right now is going to be ideal for us all right and here we go sweet gem berry luckily it's just a normal quality give it to this fella here and he gives you a uh, a what, what is this thing again a star drop <laughs> completely forgot what this thing is called excellent and it reminds me of coffee all right let's see what we can do here ladies and gentlemen so uh, things that we need gonna need a pomegranate and apple that one as well that one as well and um, there's only two things uh, three things uh, you know what we'll, we'll do that another day it's not to worry uh, we will grab this other rabbit's foot as well because there's a secret little thing that you can do with that uh, grab the wine as well and I think that's everything at the moment so yeah pomegranate all right so we've got everything that we need and I do want to grab another emerald so grab this and we'll see if we can find penny and you know what I think I will just go ahead and do a community center or a uh, museum drop because we're going in that direction anyway oh this feels so good ladies and gentlemen oh we're finally going to get this thing up to the point where it's nearly there oh wow okay this is the moment here right here all right cool let's quickly get these three apples that's the three apples there and Marnie thinks more of us now I think it also gives us a a heater we actually need to get some heaters for winter uh, the enchanter bundle Oh, that feels good. All right, all right. Here we go. That's one. Uh, that's two, and that is three, ladies and gentlemen. That is that one done. Oh, that feels good. And what do we get? Five golden bars. And the dye bundle. We still need to wait for the red cabbage. That's probably going to happen in the next few days as well. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, looking at this one now, it's just this foraging for next season, and then that final. Uh, the cabbage when we uh, get that in the next couple of days I'm so excited I I'm so happy about that and can I be completely honest I have actually never completed the community center run in my own personal playthroughs in one year there's always been something I've missed or forgotten the the last one was actually a truffle uh, Clint wants me to do that yeah sure I probably won't but maybe 
Uh, no, she's not. Okay, fair enough. But we will go ahead and donate to Gunther these other things here. Mate, you're going to have to give me something for this prismatic shard, because that is it's definitely something. And collect rewards. Uh, Scarecrow. No, nothing else that really jumps out at me. Here's Penny now. And we will give her an emerald. Uh, you've already given her two gifts. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. All right, excellent. I do not need these apples anymore or these pomegranates. I'm literally just going to sell them for now. Uh, the other one we're going to keep here. Um, and I think we'll just quickly toss a heater into this place here. Uh, yeah, that can just sit here. And we're good to go. And we'll head over to the um, greenhouse. I want to sort that one out for the rest of the day. Awesome, so let's see what we have here. So, we've got a whole bunch of things ready here. Let's expand this little crop plot a little bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, how do we... We have ten, so that's five that we got there already. Um, I think it's going to be in this direction that I can go. Alright, let's see what we can do here. And just because... Oh yeah, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. Common mushroom. Toss a common mushroom into a seed maker, and guess what it gives you? Yeah, you guessed it, it gives you full seeds. That is amazing. And yeah, the reason why I'm just making a little bit of extra full things at the moment is because I would really like to um, get this thing done. Uh, sorry, get my foraging up. Because ideally, I would like to have my uh, foraging skill already max before we even get to, uh, get to winter, sorry. Alright, and we have one more, so I think we'll just go ahead and place this... Oh, we'll place this other one over here. Why not? Cool, fantastic. So that's going to be a big chunk of uh, foraging XP for us, which is going to be good. Uh, toss, um, uh, toss the watering can back in here. And there you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have these six, and I have actually checked as well for this area. We can fit eight... Um, iridium sprinklers in this area so that reminds me we need to quickly pop back up to the other area and or the the furnace area and grab those actual I am um, iridium bars I was trying so hard to click the correct thing but I still clicked the wrong thing <laughs> all right so that's another emerald as well for penny so that's looking good uh, we have 12 so yeah we definitely have enough um, iridium bars to make the iridium sprinklers that we need for our section down below so yeah that's going to be pretty damn excellent so i'm going to go ahead and scythe up some more grass while we're here and yeah i think for the next couple of episodes because it's now just more or less waiting until winter i will keep it all into the same episode as well but um i'll heavily cut it down you know just make the the main points of the days etc etc but I'll probably be doing those episodes at a later date. It's... Is this an animal? Oh, I thought there was an animal there. Alright, cool. And that is a whole lot of grass already cut up as well. Uh, yeah, 826. We're nearly full at full capacity as well. Alright, looking pretty good. Let's head to bed there. Yeah, guys, if you're enjoying the episode so far, remember to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And yeah, let's see what the next day has in store for us. 10,766 gold. That is pretty nice. The last days of Falls Guy. Uh, sorry, the last days of Fall Guys. It's more or less just going to be uh, just finish up um, with the community center. I mean, just waiting for it to be uh, finished up. Uh, 260 gold back there. Notice a chill in the air. We do. It's actually going to be winter, and it's actually funny enough, very cold here in Australia as well. I think it's going to go down to five degrees. Uh, tonight, so I don't know where in the world you are, but uh, for us that is relatively cold. I mean, we're used to very humid, you know, 30 degree days and all that sort of stuff. So it's 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 a bit rough on our side. Uh, for me, I don't mind it all too much. I can deal with the cold, but other people can't. Mm -hmm. Anything here for us? The red cabbage seed is here. Oh, that is a beauty. I think I'm actually going to head to the community center today and just get that donated, I reckon. I mean, that is something that we've been waiting to do for so long. Oh, it's amazing. 
Mm -hmm. Bulls and board die. And here is the moment of truth. We have completed the red cabbage, which is fantastic. <gasps> Look at that. And we got friendship from her as well. And we get ourselves a seed maker, which I'm definitely going to toss into the greenhouse. Alright, we will go ahead and see what we can get here as well. Uh, take like some bombs, um, take a couple of these, take one of these, and get ourselves some extra luck. And yeah, we'll see what we can do. I mean, it looks like I was able to get one bar worth. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it is a bar of iridium. Hey, so we even leveled up um, in our combat, so what do we want to do? I think 15% more damage is just an overall solid choice, as well as the HP, so it really doesn't matter. We can always change it uh, later if we wanted to. And 9,000 gold there. Yeah, looking pretty good. Well, first off, we're going to check our mailbox. Uh, new best friends. Everyone around town has been talking about your great generosity lately. Apparently, packages have been appearing in people's help. Houses containing items they posted about years ago on the community center bulletin, and the packages are all dressed from your farm. I guess this is what you get for completing that um, thingy section, the bulletin board section. Thanks for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted. Mayor Lewis. May it was an absolute pleasure. But we do have our pumpkins ready to go, which is a nice thing. And another ancient seed here as well. So I think Caroline was asking for uh, that thing, wasn't she? <laughs> I think he looks mad at me. Mm, yes. Quaint. And 15,000 for the day. Fantastic. The last day of fall. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow in winter. And also, the spirits are very displeased today. That's unfortunate for me. And artichoke dip. Sounds divine. And we have our other coop ready and going. Alright, so what we're going to do is exactly this. There's nothing in here at the moment, but we are going to do this. This does seem to take a while. Okay, 110, that should be more than enough. And let's go ahead and actually chop down all this grass now. Yeah, that's about, yeah, that's about right, should be alright. And that is going to be the final cranberry uh, harvest we have, obviously, because it is Sunday the 28th. And she does seem to like it. So, with that being said, she is on... Hey, look at that. Demetrius is max hearts. Nice. Everyone's looking very good. Penny's on six hearts, so I think we'll get another cutscene from her uh, soon, I imagine. It's been a good one as well, actually. It's been a very lucrative fall. I was able to achieve all of my goals that I wanted to do for this entire season, so I am very happy with that. Um, I used to have a fireplace. Where's my fireplace? And for the last day of fall, we were able to make another 25, 27,000, so nice, that's a good way to close fall. Excellent. The first day of winter, and we'll get to this one in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen.